Welcome back. The Flint River Aquarium is getting some financial help from the City of Albany, and watch out, it's six figures. Fox City One's Jessica Fairley connects us to more on that story. The Albany Board of Commissioners has voted to give the Flint River Aquarium $150,000 towards next year's budget. Commissioners say investing in the River Aquarium is an investment in the community. We get the benefit of that tax money in our community just by having these facilities here. And the small investment that we make to make sure that they're viable and they're still important to our community uh, is very insignificant. This isn't the first time that Flint River Aquarium officials have approached Albany commissioners for funding. As the River Aquarium and other businesses come back year after year, they say it's time to come up with a solution to keep their doors open. What we need to find is a um, strategic plan and a good way to fund our organizations so that uh, the public can benefit from this uh, public funding. Commissioner Chris Pike says part of a plan could be to set aside a portion of the hotel motel tax to fund entities like the River Aquarium. That's generated mostly from people coming here from out of town staying in our hotels so it's not uh, local citizens that are funding that. Pike says this is just an option to think about in the future. Also in the city meeting commissioners voted to amend the zoning ordinance for commercial vehicles. If a final vote is passed, large trucks will no longer be able to park in residential areas. This is with the exception of school buses and utility trucks. Obviously a school bus is big, but it is also designed for residential roads more so than 18 wheels are. Commissioners say passing this amendment to the ordinance will make it easier to enforce the law. 